You're welcome to another edition of the Economy and Politics Show. It's a brand new week and we continue our conversations around the economy, policy and how it impacts the populace. Today, 14th of December 2020, we take a look at government, tech, policy and how it can help unlock opportunities for economies with a case example of Lagos State. Nigeria's economic capital, nerve center when it comes to commercial activities, and a very critical city when it comes to defining Nigeria's very huge and robust economy. On the sidelines of the recent Social Meet 7.0 of the FinTech Association of Nigeria, we had a conversation with the special advisor to the Lagos State Governor on innovation and technology. Mr. Labutubosun Alake, on how Lagos State is bringing that synergy between policy, infrastructure, and technology to open up opportunities for startups and businesses and the entire state in terms of citizenry on how we and assess more services, improve delivery, and also deepen the economy. Take a listen. As you know, there is a national digital plan, uh, digitization and digital economy plan. Well, more importantly, a broadband plan for Lagos released by the NCC. It's over five years. I think it was 2018 to 2023. And we are well in line or in, in making Lagos states the, the, the driver uh, of that plan. I had mentioned earlier our infrastructure plans to be able to digitize the city, make it more resilient, and really make it at the forefront of uh, the technology uh, evolution in Nigeria. I think one of the things that will accompany a lot of our interventions with is policy. Um, how uh, the way we uh, incentivize technology development uh, in, in Lagos, uh, and one of what we are looking at is safe zones, right? So the Yaba technology cluster now, how uh, it's basically a, a, a cluster where we've earmarked for innovation development, for instance. And we are applying some laws in that cluster that would enable rapid uh, development uh, in innovation. So for instance, what kinds of policies can we put there to enable researchers, scientists, uh, technologists to come there? How can we make their immigration processes much more seamless? Uh, working with the federal authorities, of course. How can we uh, incentivize from a tax uh, perspective? What kind of tax holidays uh, can we give uh, young technology companies uh, innovating in specific uh, technology areas? So these are the policy mixes that we are looking at to raise uh, the innovation ecosystem in. And of course, intervening in the infrastructure, de-risking uh, a lot of uh, the technology startups in, 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 in Lagos. Uh, how do you hope to strengthen the regulations or let's say the policy framework to encourage this ecosystem? Uh, because we're seeing that day in day out, Lagos continues to play host to a lot of innovation hubs that are opening up the frontiers for tech startups who are key drivers of our economy today. Yes, yeah, so by, by strengthening policies in many other sectors, for instance, uh, transport, health, um, we are also strengthening the overall technology landscape because a lot of sectors now are looking at strengthening their technology policies, whether it's in transport. So for instance, the bus reform law uh, will introduce intelligent transport uh, back-end systems, right? And, and that will enable uh, startups in transport to be able to lend solutions to that market. Health, uh, of course, is in, is in that mix as well. Um, so so there, 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 there are uh, different um, uh, policy frameworks or there are different policy interventions in different sectors that will lend to the strength of the overall technology landscape, right? Uh, and, and of course, we are also discussing with uh, Lagos State House of Assembly on a number of uh, policies for the technology ecosystem as well. 
how can they uh, innovate faster? What kinds of policies will lend them to innovate faster? What kind of policies would uh, lend to experimentation? So, you know, break things fast, uh, iterate and move on. So how de-risking all those things is, is what we are looking at, at strengthening in, in Lagos. And, and finally, in the terms of 2021, the outlook, do you see the need for more collaboration among states? Particularly in the Nigerian Governors Forum, there's been a clamor that governors should take up, like what Lagos is doing, investing in broadband, in fiber optics, metro uh, um, connectivity, because one of the biggest challenges we have today is COVID showed us virtual. And going virtual, you need data, and data needs to thrive on infrastructure. So, so far, we know Lagos, Kaduna, Kwara, and even um, Kaduna states are the states that are at the forefront, Ekiti states, at the forefront of encouraging and enabling infrastructure. Uh, what will you be doing in that regard? Because that's the, that's the next game changer, not oil, but I still the big growth sector in Nigeria. Yeah. So I think um, each state um, should look at its own unique environment and come up with a model that fits uh, its own environment. So there are many states that might not have the capital base uh, or, or the, the kinds of uh, environments that will lend to heavy infrastructure uh, investment. But they can tweak their policies, as some are doing, like uh, Kaduna, Ekiti, reducing uh, the right of ways so that private sector investors can invest, right? In, in Lagos, we can afford to make some investment, even though uh, um, our current investments also is a, is, has a PPP framework, public-private partnerships. But other states can look at the models that fit their particular environment and, and invest. And some states have already been doing that, doing that currently. And so if, if more states can uh, put the pedal to the metal and also look at that, I think we would have rapid development in different regions uh, of the state. And of course, with the federal government's uh, help to look at, especially regions that are uh, perhaps would need a little bit more help, I think uh, that would also happen as well, which I'm sure they are doing. So, so, so definitely looking at your own unique environment and tailoring uh, a unique model to that. Welcome back. It is very clear that in 2020, with the advent impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, which of course reinforced the need for technology, for clear investment in infrastructure broadband that can help to unlock the digital economy, which has become that focal point for leading other sectors of the economy to limelight and push in development and transformation has become imperative. Lagos State is of course taking it seriously with investments in infrastructure, with working with the entire ecosystem, also bringing that policy approach that can help it achieve development and begin to open up new opportunities across the state. Every state in the country has to, like Mr. Latubo Sunalaki highlighted, explore its area of capacity in harnessing technology and looking at what it can invest in to improve the space from Cross River to Bauchi, to Kano, to Edo State, the various ways this can be approached. Because with a population of over 200 million people, Nigeria's biggest opportunity lies in technology, a robust digital economy, and improved services. So think about it in the six states, having that clear assessment of how to harness technology. And then they begin to invest in the necessary infrastructure, skills, attract the necessary funding with the infrastructure that can unlock the opportunities. We will be talking about a very robust digital economy and of course, on the pathway to industrialization and transformation. And that will be all for this edition of the Economy and Politics Show. You can join the conversation by logging on to our website, www.proshng.com, to watch our videos, read our news reports and analysis. On our website, we have 
an interesting, rich collection of articles and analysis on tech if you go to the right hand of the bar when you log on to our website. Also, you can send your comments and views on what you think about policy, technology, and development looking at states like Lagos in Nigeria. Send your views and comments to news at prochange.com and we'll be able to respond appropriately and take up those issues you raise. To we come your way again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and stay safe.